The widow of a Navy SEAL killed in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan in August is making a plea to the public. Kimberly Vaughn lost her husband Aaron's wedding ring while traveling with family this week. She says the ring is all she has left of him and she won't give up finding it. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara spoke with her on the phone today and joins us now live from Virginia Beach. Ann? Obviously, Kimberly very upset. She knows she lost it somewhere in Charlotte at the airport. She was on a U.S. Airways flight, and that's kind of when she realized. And here's how it happened. She was wearing the uh, ring, rather, on her thumb because, of course, her husband's finger so much bigger than hers, and she says it just slipped off. Just miles from Little Creek, many Navy SEALs come here to Long Jewelers to make the most important purchase of their lives. We have people that come in here with wedding rings that are hundreds of years old that have been passed down from generation to generation to generation. And in a business all about new beginnings, it was a tragic end to a marriage that left a mark on Katherine Leonard. For her to have lost his ring at this juncture, um, must be very, very, very hard for her. It would be like losing him again almost. He is a Navy SEAL, Aaron Vaughn, killed in action in the Chinook helicopter crash in Afghanistan in August. His wife, Kimberly, left behind with their two children and their wedding ring. It was kind of odd and out of the ordinary. For whatever reason, this deployment, on the day that he left, he took it off his hand and he gave it to me. And just, he just said that. Kimberly wore it every day since she heard the news, but this week she lost it while traveling from Houston, Texas to Washington, D.C. I was sitting in an airplane and um, I was holding my daughter and I flipped my, my hand around and I noticed right then I was like, oh. And all she could think of was Aaron. And I was, I was pretty crushed. I mean, of course, the tears started coming down my face. And, um, you know, I just, you kind of beat yourself up over wearing it. But The only tangible thing lost, and this is her plea to the public to help. I'm just hoping there's some good Samaritan out there who, who doesn't want to, you know, sell it or pawn it or just stick it away in their pocket. You know, when she gets this, when she gets this ring back, because she's going to get this ring back, she needs to come on down and see us, and we're going to get it onto her finger and keep it on her finger. A nice offer there from Long Jewelers. They say they'll replace it if she can't find it. Of course, it won't have the same emotional value. Now, this outpouring of support has really been what's helped Kimberly get through all of this, and she wants it to continue. And if you want to see a list of the places she went to, she knows it right down to the gate, the flight number. Go ahead and head to wavy.com. We're going to post a complete itinerary of where Kimberly went from start to finish, and she hopes that maybe someone along the way there will have found it. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.